If you're coming to Barcelona this May 2024, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the most important dates, the best activities, and what events you won't want to miss. But before we get started, like I do every single month, I've created an entire guide for you that you can take with you on your phone, marking all the places that we'll be talking about, some more that I can't fit into the guide, included with a map of some recommendations of places to eat, where to go, to make everything a lot easier for you. As always, you'll have the link in the description below or just click on this link. If you are coming to Barcelona in May, expect to see a lot more people in the city as well. This is always the time when that high season really starts to kick off. Right around the middle of the month, you're gonna start to see more people coming in. With that, you might see some prices starting to rise as well, but with the way the city is, especially in the spring months, and May being one of the best months, if not the best, that you can come over and visit the city, it's not surprising at all. Weather-wise, what you can expect is between 61 and 74 degrees. I would lean towards those higher numbers to really experience it because you can take advantage of so much. Barcelona has parks all around the city. So much to see as you're walking through, the best way to get around and really get to know the city. Experiencing those terraces and sitting outside, enjoying a drink in the sun is a really, really nice time. In terms of what you should pack, I would always bring some lighter layers, maybe some sweaters, sweatshirts, a wind jacket, something like this. Definitely have some pants. The big question is always about getting over to the beach and you're definitely gonna start to see people getting into that water as the temperatures start to rise. It's gonna be the start of that beach season, which really carries all the way down until October nowadays. So May is a great time to come over and experience. There's also all sorts of events, holidays, festivals, and things that we'll get into in just a minute here. So if you're ready, Let's get going. Along with all the big events and activities that are going on throughout the month, there are some public holidays that I think you need to be aware about. And the first is May 1st. It's Workers Day, and this is a day off for many people. Now, a lot of people are always worried about if those tourist attractions will be open, and those don't really change too much. If you still wanna visit any of those major sites, you will be able to do so. But it's not a day to do shopping. I remember years ago, I was with a tour group that basically only wanted to go shopping, and we had a lot of trouble finding places to get into. If you really need to get that shopping in, the Mari Magnum, which is over in the port, is one of the places that is still open on Sundays and those public holidays. But what you need to keep in mind is that Workers' Day here is a big historic event in the city of Barcelona. Originally going back to those Haymarket riots in Chicago, getting the eight-hour workday for the first time, the eight-hour workday wasn't actually implemented in Barcelona until 1919 after strikes at the Canadenca factory. Now, this is a place that is still around today, and it's actually better known as the Three Chimneys Park. Another holiday that you're going to find while you're over here is on May 5th, and it's Mother's Day. There's a bunch of other activities that actually coincide with this day as well, but the most important thing is that you need to make sure that you're calling, texting, things, sending those messages, even flowers to your mom. Hi mom, love ya, happy Mother's Day. Another one of the holidays in May that I look forward to every single year is May 18th and the International Museum Day. Now this is one for any of you museum goers to really take advantage of if you're in the city at the same time because from 7 p.m. until 1 in the morning, museums are free. You've got an awesome opportunity to experience museums when you usually can't, staying open until those late hours. Now, the big thing is that a lot of people go over, so it's always packed, but it is a really cool experience to see everybody going out trying to take advantage of some museums that maybe they haven't seen throughout the year. Not only will the tourists be taking advantage of it, but the locals as well. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can see exactly how International Museum Day will be celebrated in Barcelona. Now, while those last two weren't public holidays, this next one will be. May 20th is Pentecost Monday. And believe it or not, even though Easter took place back in March, this is 50 days after Easter Sunday with the arrival of the Holy Spirit to the apostles. Now, it's celebrated in different ways throughout the region of Catalonia, but in Barcelona, it will be a public holiday. So just like on May 1st, if you're looking to go shopping, probably not the day to do so, and there will be a lot more closures throughout the city. But again, none of those tourist attractions are going to be affected. And we're still not done with the holidays related to Easter. We'll talk a little bit about what happens at the end of the month and one of the coolest celebrations in the city a little bit later. Now, while I make each of these videos as a monthly travel guide and try to focus specifically on the events that are happening in each of the months, there are some activities that are lingering over from April and that are still going on at the beginning of May. We talked about May 5th already, but you've got until May 5th to see 
two events that started back in April. If you haven't seen that video already, I talked about the Feria de Abril de Catalunya, which is something that was brought from the south, from Seville specifically, over to Barcelona through the Andalusian Federation of all the different migrants coming over from the south of Spain up to Catalonia. And what they do every year is they celebrate with a big festival going on for about two weeks over at the Forum. It's always a lot of fun to go and check out, and you have until May 5th to see the rest of it. The other thing is going to be the San Miguel Beer Garden, and that's going to be taking place over at the Popla Español. I've talked about the Popla Español in a bunch of different videos, but if you haven't seen it already, it's like a big architectural theme park with all sorts of different buildings reconstructed into one place that's basically known as the Spanish Village. Throughout the year, they have all sorts of different activities that are always going on. And until May 5th, you can go over and you can check out a German gastronomic cultural experience with different workshops, music, obviously some beer and food, and it should be a lot of fun. And remember, if you're looking for the top things to do throughout the city, I do have a guide for the top five things to do in each of the different areas, regardless of the month you're coming. That's always provided in the description below of each of the videos so that you have ideas outside of these specific recommendations that I'm giving you for the month of May. Now, we've already mentioned May 5th a bunch of times already, but you also have the Cursa del Corte Inglés, the big department store all over Spain and one that you'll find right in the Plaza de Catalunya has its big run and race on the 5th of May. Inscriptions opened about a month ago and after a week, already 10,000 people were signed up. This year will be the 44th edition that they have and this 10K will be starting at the Corte Inglés and Diagonal, running all the way down and finishing over at the Plaza Catalunya at the Corte Inglés. So if you're looking to get a little bit of activity in while you're here in Barcelona, check out the website and sign up. One of the best festivals that you're going to find throughout the entire month is not even in the city of Barcelona. You're going to have to get about an hour outside and go over to Girona, which is a city that I've done plenty of videos about. Not only things that you can do over there, but also the different legends that just make Girona so special. This is a medieval city with its walls, its cathedral, picturesque if you ask me, and it's a place where they shot Game of Thrones. So a lot of people have that mental image if you haven't seen any of those videos already. But what they have going on from May 11th to May 19th is Temps de Flores, their big flower festival that they host every single year. Now what's really cool about getting over there is not only seeing a beautiful city at any time throughout the year, but also getting over and seeing over a hundred different exhibits of flowers decorating all of those monuments, all of those iconic places that you can go and see. So it's one place that I would definitely get up and go and check out. It's about an hour outside of the city, but if you take the Renfe, the fast train from San Sestacio, right in the center of Barcelona, you'll get there in under 40 minutes, making it a very easy and one of the best day trips that you can make. And while we're talking about Girona, even if you're not here from the 11th to the 19th of May, but are here at the beginning of the month, we've already talked about May 5th being packed with different events. And this day is also going to be the day that Barcelona makes its journey north to play the other Catalan team in La Liga and play against Girona. So if you can catch that game, it will be a big, big treat. Now the other games that are going on, if you want to stay a little bit closer to home and see Barcelona in some home games, are going to be on May 12th against Real Sociedad and May 19th against Rayo Vallecano. As always, remember that this year they're playing over in the Olympic Stadium at the top of Monjuic. Now, another festival that I always look forward to towards the end of the month of May is the Fira Modernista. And this is going to take place in the Eixample from May 24th to May 26th. There's a lot of different things going on with presentations of modernist art, architecture, culture, lots of different food, and it takes up quite a few city blocks. There's also a bunch of concerts throughout the days, so it's always nice to get over there. Now, each year they celebrate one famous modernist artist, architect, or somebody in that field, and this year they're going to be celebrating Angel Guimera, which is a name that you might not hear a whole lot on the different tours throughout Barcelona, but was a very famous poet. So if you're looking to take advantage of some of the celebrations going on, apart from seeing just those amazing buildings throughout the city, go over and check out the Fira Modernista in Barcelona. Now, at the beginning of the month, I mentioned that you could get over to the forum and check out the Feria de Abril and the big celebrations that were going on for the first five days of the month. But that has nothing on what's going on at the end, starting on the 29th of May and really running until the 2nd of June. Get back over to the forum and you'll see one of the biggest concerts 
not only in Barcelona, but all of Spain. Primavera Sound is coming back and we're talking over 200,000 people usually going over to all of these popular concerts that are going on through the many days. Tickets are already available. You can get single day passes or passes for that full event, but this is one of the biggest and really kind of the start of the concert season in the summer here in Barcelona. Last year, they split time between Barcelona and then going over to Madrid. Unfortunately, Madrid, it didn't work out as well as it does because it is so popular over here in Barcelona and they won't be hosting Primavera over in Madrid this year. It's gonna be 100% in Barcelona and it's looking to be big. I mentioned earlier that 50 days after Easter, you have Pentecost Monday, but 60 days after Easter, we actually have the celebration of Corpus Christi. And this is the celebration of the Eucharist and something pretty special here in Barcelona and something you'll definitely notice a lot more if you're walking around the Gothic Quarter, the center, but some other places as well. What they have during the celebration of Corpus Christi to represent that Eucharist is an egg that floats on all of the different fountains and in the courtyards of some of those famous buildings. Now, nobody knows exactly when this started, but they think it goes back to the 14th century in the Cathedral of Barcelona, where they started to use that egg bouncing on the fountains. Now you'll find it in those different courtyards all around, in the Viceroy's Palace, some of the churches just to the side, but even up in Pedralbes, where you have a really nice monastery that you should check out. It's one of those hidden gems in Barcelona. But anyway, if you're walking around, it's one of the things that I always love because there's these huge floral decorations in all of those courtyards. The center of the city really does look beautiful. Most people aren't expecting it, so they're always really shocked to see this egg that's just bouncing, spinning around on top of these different fountains. But this year, we might see something a little bit different. Because of the drought and because of the water shortages, what they did last year was they had kind of fake water and fake eggs that were bouncing on those fountains. And even with the rain that we've gotten in the last couple of days, I don't know if they're going to be using the actual fountains, which have been turned off pretty much all of this year. So we don't know if we're gonna be seeing those real eggs bouncing on the water or the imitation. Fountains working or not, all of those flowers will make the Gothic Quarter an even more beautiful place to get around and explore. Unfortunately, if you won't be there at the end of the month, you won't be able to see that. But if you are here during the middle of the month, make sure you can get out to Girona. If you haven't decided yet or still figuring out if it's worth getting over there, watch this video next where I break down everything that you can do in Girona to make the most out of your trip.